lot of you have asked me for cruise advice, so I decided to shoot this video. Uh, the first thing I would recommend, I would highly recommend, is a waterproof camera. Uh, this particular camera can be had on newegg.com. It's made by Fuji. It uh, works quite well. Um, I've used it in up to uh, probably about five feet of water just when I snorkeled. It's got a uh, an SD card that goes in there. I highly recommend a, uh, a purchasing a larger one, and uh, it's also got the battery in there. And all of this in all of the internals are waterproofed, and it it really does not leak. So I keep it on my wrist at all times when I travel. Um, this is pretty much an essential item. Um, also, a waterproof fanny pack. Uh, these these can be found on the internet. For uh, I forget where I got this one, but it's it's called a uh, it's called a dry pack. And basically, what you can do with this is this part right here just pops open, and then this pops open, and it creates a waterproof seal. Uh, and of course, you wouldn't need to put your waterproof camera in there because it's already waterproof. But just to kind of uh, illustrate how large this is. I'm putting the waterproof camera in there. So as you can tell the waterproof camera is in there. It's got plenty of room to completely close. Um, what I use this for, I'll, I'll strap it around my waist. It comes with a uh, with a waist strap which of course is waterproof and you can either wear it under your clothes or you can just wear it on top of your swimsuit. I, I wore it when I snorkeled. I wore it when I walked around town. Um, you know, I, I wore it everywhere and it just gave me peace of mind that I had my valuables uh, with me at all times. And really all I would carry, I'd carry my cruise card, a couple of credit cards, my driver's license, and you know, that's, that's all I put in there and a little bit of cash. But I left most of the cash in the room and I'd take out a little on each short excursion. The other thing to be aware of is the cost of liquor. Um, if you drink, the rum in the Caribbean cannot be beat. Um, this right here is one of my favorite, Appleton State, Appleton Estate Reserve. It also comes in several other varieties. Um, now this is something that the locals down there take advantage of, of people. Um, as you can see, this one right here was priced at $14 U.S. And actually, I bought this for $14 U.S. at the um, at the store right when you uh, disembark from the ship in uh, Montego Bay. Uh, they actually had the best prices on liquor there. I got some Appleton Estate and uh, a few other varieties of Appleton. And they've actually got one, I think it's called VX. It's not even $14. I think it might be like 8 or 10 bucks. But uh, I would definitely go reserve or hire. It's the best rum in the world. I uh, can't beat it. And then for the final item here, and this was from Cosmel. Um, just purchased it in the store off the port. I'm not sure if it's really that excellent of a deal. Uh, but what I can say is that the store allowed us to uh, to sample their tequila, so we had fun doing that. This particular bottle is twenty one bucks, uh, twenty one ninety five, and uh, I haven't seen this anywhere stateside, at least at least in our area of the United States. But it's really good. It's called El Viejo Luis. Um, so that concludes this uh, episode of of the cruise advice show. And uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Have a good day. Bye-bye.